Yeah, it's never a good thing when a guy goes down and doesn't move, you know, when he's sitting there. And, you know, obviously the worst thoughts were running uh, in my head. So I was making sure I was hovering over him, making sure everything was all right. And, um, you know, he could feel everything and move everything. And it was great to see him walking around and talking to everybody. So, um, you know, suck. That guy's been completely turned to leaf and been working harder than anybody I know. And he's a great guy. Uh, on our team, works his ass off, and it's tough to see one of your, you know, fellow position guys go down like that. But, um, you know, Blaze and Djax filled in; they did a great job. Uh, super proud of those guys for coming in and playing as hard as they do, and that's why they show up to work every day, just like uh, our whole position group does. And, um, they, you know, I, I can't speak to how proud I am of those guys for coming in and playing as hard as they did. You guys have faced a lot of really good backs this year. Where's Braylon Allen now? Step up now that you've, uh, now that you've faced. Yeah, he's probably number one. <laughs> he's a pretty special guy. Uh, he's going to be a problem in the Big Ten for a long time, and you know I can't wait to play him again. So, uh, you know, he's, he's like I said, he's a special kid. Is there anything? I mean, obviously, you go back and watch it, but off the cuff, is there anything you can think of that, that to explain why he had a day that nobody else had really had against you? Uh, yeah, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> Better on tackling, obviously on defense, uh, get, get, getting more hats to the ball. Um, just some scheme, some gap stuff up front uh, needed to take care of in the crucial situations. But uh, he's, I mean, he's just a special black back, and that's what uh, backs do. Two more guys in there is. Did you notice anything different? I mean, you, you were at some points rolling a lot of guys in that haven't played a lot. Mm -hmm. Gunnarsson, Hutmacher, Gifford, obviously. Yeah. What was it like working those guys in on the fly against, obviously, a pretty yeah, we li we all live in the same neighborhood, and we've been talking about it for a long time. So, um, you know, some of those guys are my roommates. I live with Nash and Blaze and Gifts down the down the road. So, um, talking about that and uh, being excited for those guys. And like I said, I, I hugged them all after the game and told them I was so uh, happy and proud, like a proud dad moment. You know, uh, hugging those guys, telling much how, how much I love them, how proud I am of them for uh, coming in a big game and playing the way they did, and you know, handling it a lot better than I would have when I was that young. You expect this team to finish it off. Tyler, let's go. Uh, we got to go practice tomorrow, and you know, some of us operate on a little bit more dogs, so let's go get it done.